start off with a song that um, I wrote one Monday morning in a bar in Andalusia. Uh, we'd gone down to the bar to get some breakfast, met our friend Paul, Pablo Barracho. Uh, he was asleep on the bar and uh, we woke him up and he was convinced it was Saturday, it was Monday. Anyway, so we, we proceeded to write this little song. Any change in speed is entirely intentional because I started too fast or too slow. And I know you haven't got all night. Well, it was 3 p.m. on Monday. Been a long Friday night. Where are the bar stuff when you need them? Man, I'm needing them right now. Well, that old man says he's dying. I think he's lying. I'm just sad and crying for a drink or two. And you, well, you were sleeping beneath the table when the Kennedys were playing. No one here knew you, you just fell out of the blue. We walked home for miles, so the night burst up on fire, and the key was rife, and we swore that it was for life. Short took in the snow. And so whatever happens next, I won't forget to text to tell you that I am in good company on this long Friday. Well, all those women in the dogs and the walnut tree I tried to understand them but it sure beats me Why you don't find no mermaid good in good company Take me back to the black hills up and on my ghost of puking on a Sunday choking on a Monday in good company on this long Friday Hey, you can put me up on trial I'm not in denial I'm guilty as charged And all the while I'll see you tomorrow To tell you that I'm in good company Thank you very much. What I meant to say when I got on the stage was thank you very much, Patrick Heffernan, for the fantastic opening set. That was absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Brian McCormack, for texting me to ask if I knew any song singer-songwriters he could book. Uh, once he booked me, I gave him the names. But uh, <laughs> you better do what you can. So there was a time, there was a time, I was working in a call centre in France uh, and um, yeah, it wasn't great. And well, one day, um, well, what happened was I left work, went to the bar, stayed there all night, went back to work in the morning and decided that it maybe wasn't the life for me. I was younger then. 
uh, wrote this song. Give me the devil's number. I've got a soul to sell. It's the only thing that I have got left. Anyway, it's headed straight to hell. Well, it ain't exactly pure or white. It's been used more than one time. I'm cashing in my options tonight. I pay the price. I want to do the crime. Get me the devil's number. Get me the devil's dollar line. I haven't got any time to waste. Haven't got a single goddamn dime. I'm going to make that. Pure tequila.
ain't gonna comb my hair. Don't invite me to no party. Why would I do that? Hey, I ain't going nowhere till my sugar gets back to town. No, I ain't going nowhere till my sugar gets back to town. Don't try and start a conversation, I ain't got a thing to say Or try and help to ease my mind, there is no other way The only thing I know is I can't wait until the day That my sugar gets back to town That my sugar gets back to town Don't try and start a conversation, I ain't got a thing to say Or try and help to ease my mind, there is no other way The only thing I know is I can't wait until the day That my sugar gets back to town That my sugar gets back to town When my sugar gets back to town With all that sugar So after all that sugar I put on about six stone and uh, then we had COVID. Everyone wrote a song in COVID. Did any of you not write a COVID song? Silence. The silence of the people who didn't write a COVID song. This one's in A. Summer mumbled slung fall and stole out of the scene. She wasn't one for long goodbyes or complicated schemes. The boys, they finished up their camp, threw them in the wind. Once they grew too scared to love, folks just thought them queer. And over on the far side, she dropped ice. To a gym below decks, the kids played battleships, waiting for life to begin. To begin. Took a holiday to scroll down other towns, posing for. Relations cost frowns As in the luck we waited The gate of the game Lifted by the water It began to rain And all the cans are empty now And the bars won't let us in A winter chill is coming down We're waiting for life to be and all the cans they're empty now and the bars won't let us in a winter chill is coming down we're waiting for life to begin to begin
Nothing. I have you all heard me speaking perfect Irish in that? No? Okay, so let's get serious now. I mean, seriously, we need to talk about the consent laws. Consent is consent and anything else isn't. So we need to learn how to say yes. <laughs> Imagine conversation buzzing through my head. All the funny, witty, clever things I wish I'd never said. They tell me less is more now, and so I figured more was less. myself down to the river, lay down in the little patch, dream on how your fingers make me sing, listen to the commonness of latch, and the question you were asking, right before I spill my cider down my chest. Just so you did 
it wasn't this dress. I was going to wear the dress, but um, the light man said no. Wear the one with spots on. So that concerned about my... This is, a, this is a song from an album I released about five years ago. The album's called A Short Study on the Nature of Love and Drink. And if any of you want to buy it, you can do that. It is on a thing called Bandcamp, which is an amazing streaming service where the people who use it actually get paid. I'd love to sit and talk to you for hours about things I've never seen. People I don't know, places I have never been. Hypothesize and summarize world situations that imploded. Information I downloaded, things that your auntie floated. I love the way you laugh at me when the sentences end first. Words come out in reverse. Then I try to curse. And darling, you're so good at cool, you're giving me a chill. Not a single drop you spill on that ragged little pill But there it's just one request I must make It's a promise I want you to promise me you'll never break Just the simplest thing that you never must do Things could end badly for me and much worse for you. Oh, darling, please don't call me when I'm sober. I won't know what to do or what to say. We can pass each night in the Silent creature by the day. Now, whiskey makes me smarter, and I'm happy as can be. Cause I know I love you, and you know that you love me. We threw our medication from the burning bridge of sighs. As we jumped into true love, we testified. But now the light, it is burning my eyes. The confessions I made, they all turned out to be lies. I don't want to be seen with people like me anymore. So I've closed the curtains and drawn all the bolts on the door. And darling, please don't call me when I. I won't know what to do or what to say We can pass each night immersed in virtual clover But I'm a strange and silent creature by the day
glasses on now so I can see what it says on my tuna. Great. There was a moment when I actually believed that politics might work. There was a lovely, lovely old man, um, Jeremy. His name was Jeremy. He was really good at gardening. He had a bicycle. I thought this could, this could work. Yeah, this is, this, you know. Uh, and I was, you know, quite interested about like. Well, I say I was quite interested. I, I mean, I am English, but I haven't really lived there very often for fairly obvious reasons. I'd gone back to England to do a bit of singing with a lady called Mickey Barry and this whole thing was going off and it was maybe there was going to be actual people getting together and getting their voices heard instead of just that same old bunch of pig fucking what's it doing the thing that they do. Um, and I was kind of visualising it as a their solid little stream just streaming on down but the sea was going to come in and get them. So I obviously took myself off to a place where that happened, sat next to the river for four or five days, looking at the rhythm of the movement of the... Because this is what you do when you're a songwriter. Um, honest. This <laughs> is... Um, and this is what I wrote. where I know everyone's name.
Now, when you wake up in a car park that's called Dead Man, Woman's Ditch, you, you're going to want to find out why. <laughs> Luckily, it was not very far from a place called Halsway Manor, which is the National Folk Archive from England. It's a fantastic place. So I went down there to ask them about it, and what I discovered was that nobody had written a song about the mass murders that went on up there. So I found the court reports. Um, looked at the newspapers that they had, for, they had all this stuff, they just didn't have the song yet, but now. Uh, check out the death count in this. <laughs> Where are you going to, plain little Jane? I'm going courting big John Wolford. You'll not be laughing at me when it's me that's got his name. You'll not be laughing at me when it's me that's got his name. Oh, you'll never marry big John Wolford. Our big John's for pretty Annie Rice. She's got a mill and a farm out at Adston. What you gotta give her but scabs and lies? Got nothing to give a girl but scabs and lies. But what I've got to give her, I'm carrying inside me. I play the games that Annie don't dare. Magistrate will have him up and he'll have to marry me. And pretty little Annie Rice, she can never care. Pretty little Annie Rice, she can never care. Right, if you're going to clap, can you do it in time, please? One, two, three, four. Winter. Oh, winter's come on, and winter passed over. Janie grew stout to John Rowe free. We never heard the ring of bells, and when the snow was melted, it's old Mrs. Wolf has got the baby on her knee. So Mrs. Wolf has got the baby on her knee. Oh, where are you going to, little Jane Shoney? Where are you going to, plain little Jane? I'm calling William, Big John's brother. Once you've got your eyes shut, they're just about the same. Once you've got your eyes shut, they're just about the same. 
Oh, Jamie, you ain't got the sense that you were born with. No one's gonna want what they've already had. And William, he's a good boy, he's brave and hard working. All you've gone and done is turn a good boy bad. All you've gone and done is turn a good boy bad. Come on, and Janie grew stout to John. He's out at Adscombe Court in Nanny Rice. On cold November morning, the militia came recruiting. William, he walked out of there, they didn't ask him twice. William, he walked out of there, they didn't ask him twice. So, where are you going now, little Jane Shoney? Where are you going to, plain little Jane? I'm courting John and he's keeping him waiting I haven't got a thing to lose and everything to gain I haven't got a thing to lose and everything to gain Oh no, we hear the wedding bells are ringing Janie waddles up the aisle, our belly hanging low The constable is waiting with Big John at the altar At last that man is gonna have to reap what he did so. At last that man is gonna have to reap what he did so. Just three weeks later at the castle of comfort Jane is gonna drink and toast in her success in comes John with a face like thunder He drags her out across the floor Tears her filthy dress He drags her out across the floor And tears her filthy dress It's up there on the common Where they found Jane Shoney Found her bruised and beaten All caked in blood He left her lying in the ditch He didn't even bury her Just left her swollen body Laying face down in the mud it's up there on the common where they hung John Wolford Here they left his body, rotting in a cage The ghost of Jane Shoney will never cease to trouble him The ghost of John Wolford will never cease to rage The ghost of Jane Shoney will never cease to trouble him The ghost of John Wolford will never cease to rage Thank you. That was hard, that was hard. <laughs> proceeded to have a bunch of babies that she found it very very difficult to look after the children herself during the winter so I had to go out every winter for about five or six years to look after her children for her because it's, it's very difficult um, when it's cold and wet here like um, it's very difficult to look after children in Thailand um, so I had to go and help her yeah uh, and um, but you can only stay in Thailand for a month before they say, right, you've got to go and get a new visa. So um, I went and got on a bus, 17 hours from Chiang Rai to Lang Prabang. The um, lady I sat next to, his name was Dana, the first thing she said to me was, oh, just got the bus up from Chiang Rai, it was only four hours, four hour bus journeys, not enough time to get settled in. So over the next 18 hours, Dana told me her life story, and this is it. <laughs> This is a tune that I've tried to play with quite a few other people, or even tried to play myself, I'm not doing very well. Um, they can't play it because they were not on that bus. They do not understand the curves, the hills, the sudden areas. They don't even know at what point the man was stood by the side of the road washing his car in his underpants. I mean, <laughs> I will try and convey that to you now. Dana graduated and went looking for a place Somewhere to live out her life with dignity and grace In a Carolina depot she kissed her folks to do Her pa said to her mama She looks like you Dana stepped across the 
the threshold of things that she had known. She took her seat upon that bus like a queen takes to the throne, and she smiled at her reflection as the wheels began to turn. Yodel 
than to have to listen to someone else yodeling. Um, so I'd like to invite you all to join me in a little old bit of yodeling. It's in G. What, where's Marta gone when the yodeling, the yodeling starts? Marta just leaves the room suddenly. I thought this would be right up her street. I'll just give you a bit of background to why, why, oh why. Um, because I have a friend called Gail. You know Gail, don't you, Jen? Auntie Gob. Yeah, Auntie Gob, gorgeous, absolutely lovely lady. Now, she's got a little pony and trap, and so one time there was a, like a, a cowboy and Indian festival on, on the, uh, it's on the Seven Estuary. Obviously, big, big area for cowboys and Indians. So she'd taken her little pony and trap up there and was doing like rides around the town for the people all dressed up in their lovely cowboy and Indian things. I couldn't make it for the first day, but I got up there early, early enough on the Sunday. Oh yeah, I, it was just the time of the supermoon as well. There was a supermoon, must have been September. Um, she'd been out doing her pony and trap thing. She'd done quite well. She'd gone to the pub. When I got there, she was still, two o'clock in the afternoon, she was still asleep in her tent. I kind of knocked on the tent as much as she can knock on a tent. Gail, Gail, what's she doing? Gail stuck her head out of her tent and she was wearing a Mexican hat. <laughs> but she had no idea at all how she came into possession of this item. So, tell you later. Um, so we sat down, right, while she was like waking up, making her coffee, we told her what it was she'd done the night before. And this, this is what she'd done the night before. Oh yeah, and don't forget the yodeling. Let's yodel now. Yodel, 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 They called her guilty girl, but no one knew of what she was guilty. He said, you better get yourself a gun. She went down to the bar room where the outlaw she was sat. She woke up in the morning with her. You're a lot of lady, you're a lot of lady, you're a lot of lady. You're a lot of lady, you're a lot of lady, you're a lot of lady. Dough. She 
colors of fade in this old masquerade. I want to come down with you. You don't have to explain the source of your pain. I've seen your deepest blue. When things can get worse, there's not a spell or a curse that stops the daylight from creeping through. Turn off your phone, pretend you ain't home. I want to come down with you.